Hey guys, Yo Raptor here. So I made some predictions for the Nintendo Direct that will happen tomorrow, but then suddenly while recording, it got leaked. Well, it certainly looks like it, according to a Dutch gaming website. Let's run down this leaked information together, and I will still share you my predictions. Let me know yours in the comments below. And I will also have some other interesting news. It's a big, big, big Raptor News episode. I hope you're ready. My name is Your Raptor. This is the Raptor News of March 2nd, 2016. Let's go through my predictions fast, shall we? First was Metroid Prime Federation Force. I think the game will get a release date. We saw this at E3, nobody liked it. I actually played it and I thought it was pretty okay. I mean, I played the soccer game 1v1 versus someone from Nintendo, so there was no fun in that, but the game really played a little bit like Metroid Prime Hunters and I love that game on DS. Anyway, this direct we will see more footage, we will hear when the game will release and I think it's safe to say that it will be in May. My second prediction is my wildest prediction, it's about Torch City, you might remember that name from the leaked list of Nintendo games that got a little bit verified when the name, the code name of the Pokemon anniversary game was also in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon assets that were released when the game was announced. So that's a little bit weird when that name was already there, right? So we can maybe say that this list is correct. Anyway, on that list was Torch City, summer 2016, big budget game for all ages. Well, Pikmin 4 really sounds like it. Remember Miyamoto saying in September 2015 that the game is nearly complete. So 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Anyway, they want to get that on Wii U. It's on the same engine of Pikmin 3. It will be a little different game, I think. But yeah, get it out. Give the Wii U gamers something else to play that was not too expensive to make. To because yeah, the engine was already there. The controls were already there. Anyway, Pikmin 4, June release date, get it out before E3, E3 will focus on NX, but yeah, give them something to play. My third prediction, Star Fox Zero Amiibo will be shown, the game is coming in April and Nintendo of course has Amiibo for their biggest launches on Wii U this year, so they will show some Slippy Toad Amiibo and maybe a special pack with a special ship from Star Fox as an Amiibo with the game. Everyone will go nuts, everyone will buy it and Nintendo is happy. We will see no Detective Pikachu during this direct. I hope I'm wrong but it's likely that we don't see the game that launched in Japan already. I mean otherwise they would have announced it during the Pokemon Direct right? But they only shown, uh, showed Moon and Sun and I don't think that we will see those games during this or direct as well. Pokemon Tournament will be a big focus of this direct but they will not show a new fighter. The game is coming out on March 18th. So they, yeah, they need the need the time, uh, push the bundle one more time, do yeah, do stuff with that fighting game. It looks interesting, but not a lot of people might know about it. So they want to push that during this direct. Those were my predictions for the Nintendo Direct that will happen tomorrow. Share yours in the comments and let's now look at that leak list. So I made my predictions before I saw this list. You have to keep that in mind. Anyway. Let's look at Fire Emblem Fates here on the list. Of course, Fire Emblem Fates, it hasn't launched in Europe yet, but you guys from the US did, don't have uh, Bravely Second. So we got Bravely Second, you got Fire Emblem Fates. Now they will talk in the US stream about Bravely Second for, and we will get to talk about Fire Emblem Fates. I think that will happen. Then Lost Reefers, interesting Project Tracer. Of course, we saw that. Um, yeah, we didn't really uh, had a lot of, of information about that. It's like a four-player game where you collect treasures or something. Curious to hear more about that. They say that it will change the name to Lost Reavers. Okay, interesting. Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, of course, that's coming. Of course, they will show that because that's a big franchise. Metroid Prime Federation Force, there will be a developer interview if we look at this picture here down the bottom of this article. Um, yeah, we see some maps here if you're listening to the audio version with all the content for the Nintendo Direct. Okay, Metroid Federation Force, if they yeah push that hard, I think they will say the release date. And like I said, I think it will be in May. Then Monster Hunter Generations, well in Japan they launched Monster Hunter X. Big success of course, new weapons, new fighting styles, awesome stuff. 
and of course it will launch in Europe as well because or in the West I should say uh, because Monster Hunter is a big success here as well 4G uh, for Ultimate did a really nice job so yeah we might see that only on 3DS it is um, maybe this year or beginning of next year but that would mean that the 3DS will get the software beyond 2015 and while I think this could be true it would also mean that the NX will not really grab the 3DS and throw it away so that will be interesting to watch then we have Star Fox Zero of course they will focus on that the game will launch in April maybe we will see those amiibo or that special edition because we if we look at that screen again at that uh, picture with the maps it says first print edition so that might be with the amiibo I talked about then you also see Yokai watch in here and that's also because we in Europe still don't have Yokai watch on 3ds while it launched in US in November so that's insane one thing that's missing on this list and that's pocket tournament the game will launch March 18th and Nintendo will not talk about it I find it really really hard to believe because it's a big game it will have a Wii U bundle so of course Nintendo will talk about this so that makes this news not very believable in my eyes but then again Nintendo with a one really believes in this source they say he f they think that he is 99% correct so that makes it all very interesting to watch let me know if you believe this rumor in the comments down below to finish this off I also want to talk briefly about some non Nintendo news for example Titanfall 2 will be coming before Christmas according to a EA so we will likely see the game very very soon but this will also mean that it will be very interesting to see where it will launch because November is Call of Duty area Battlefield will launch at the end of October I think so when where is the room for Titanfall 2 will be super 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 interesting to watch we also have Gears of War coming so okay man enough shooters ton of stuff interesting stuff also Mass Effect will be moving out of this that dangerous area it will launch in the beginning of 2017 of course I'm talking about Andromeda the new game Uncharted 4 is also delayed by two weeks May 10th is the new release date I want to play it right now but give me a good game so there's a ton of stuff to play I will wait but it's hard it's very hard the biggest Raptor news ever is a fact March 2nd thanks a lot for watching or listening remember Raptor news up every weekday at 8 p.m. Central European time and 11 a.m. Pacific time like the video if you did like the SoundCloud if you did like my iTunes if you did subscribe to the Your Raptor YouTube channel would mean a lot to stay up to date on the latest news and my reaction to it I got a ton of awesome stuff coming so expect awesome stuff coming your way thanks a lot for listening let me know what you think about the Nintendo Direct um, it's up tomorrow 2 p.m. Pacific time 5 p.m. ET and 10 p.m. UK time or 11 a.m. Central European time so hopefully you will watch it and discuss the things that will happen with me I'm curious if this leak is correct but we will see thanks a lot I will speak to you tomorrow with a special episode and we'll be back Friday with a breakdown of the Nintendo news on a different channel maybe huh? anyway also with a Raptor news so I look forward to that Thanks a lot for listening and uh, I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.